So the one I wanted to watch was this one actually, Converse, The Controversial Rise of Jinxie, because I actually only recently discovered Jinxie. Uh, as a tw I th he's a Twitch streamer. Don't know if you know him, but I, I, I enjoy his content. And then he has like a podcast now, Jinxie Podcast. And um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know why I, I couldn't, I can't imagine him being like controversial, controversial at all. So this kind of piqued my curiosity. So yeah, let's check it out. I kind of, I'm kind of curious. Controversial Rise of Jinxie. Here we go. Jinxie's journey on Twitch has been nothing short of unreal, from spending so years why is he controversial? To, viewers, to becoming the number one streamer on Twitch seemingly out of nowhere. Jinxie's yeah, so like, so let me just get some like stats real quick. Twitch stats, average viewers, yeah dude, he's got a lot of followers and a lot of uh, subs too. Wait, how do I get to the leaderboards? Oh, leaderboards, here we go. He looks like Magnus... Magnus Carlson, younger brother from that perspective. <laughs> True. So, okay, so Ninja's top, um, XQC. Oh, maybe he isn't though. I feel like he was number one on, he was number one on Twitch, like not too long ago. Yeah, so I can't, uh, yeah, he's huge. He used to be number one on Twitch. I, I guess he's not anymore. He has like, I don't know, like how much, did, how many followers does he have? Jinx, oh, here we go. Yeah, he has, um, he has 5.7 million Starship. followers Starship. on Twitch. That's insane. Yo, Daniel Barry Sports Highlights. Thanks for joining the YouTube chat. We're also streaming on Twitch. Uh, yeah, we're just watching some YouTube today. We just watched uh, the YouTube's Darkest Rabbit Hole. Uh, newest video from Nick Crowley. Great, great video, great channel. You should check him out. And now we're just going to watch the controversial rise of Jinxie from the Internet Anarchist. Uh, because I'm a, I'm kind of a fan of Jinxie and I don't know why he's controversial because he doesn't seem controversial at all. So anyway, but this video could prove me wrong. Anyway, let's go. The controversial rise of Jinxie. Here we go. Jinxie's journey on Twitch has been nothing short of unreal, from spending years only streaming to five viewers, to becoming the number one streamer on Twitch seemingly out of nowhere. Jinxie's antics on camera have earned him praise, infamy, yeah, he's and really everything funny. in between. This is my world and you're just <laughs> However, <laughs> he makes me laugh like every time top hasn't come without its fair share of controversy. What controversy? I'm getting called a view botter. Stick around, I'll get into that. You fucking idiot. Jesus Christ. Bots. <laughs> Chat. Yes, bro, I'm literally getting called a view botter, dude. I'm not Okay, what the hell? What the hell is that? What is the What is the thing he always does? It's like really ever did why why does he roll his R's all the time? That's so weird. Uh but yeah, he's crazy. How does he have so much energy, dude? I can't do that. I can't I can't have that much energy. That's crazy. Rebotting, stimulant use on stream, and being an iShow speed clone have all been leveled against. Oh yeah, Jinxie, he has been labeled an iShow speed clone. Valid. And if not, how on earth did he manage to dominate the streaming world so quickly? Hi, I want to know that too. Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be uncovering the controversial rise of a modern streaming legend, Jinxie. What is the controversy? Seemingly defied all logic to climb the ranks on Twitch, even while playing a quote <clears throat> dead game. Jinxie, real name Nicholas Stewart, began his Twitch journey around January 2019 under the username I Sweat Games, where he would play his favorite video game Rainbow Six. I didn't even know that was his, his first original username. Twitch, Jinxie barely received 13 viewers. And yeah, he did bring back a dead game. Like he was that that Rainbow Six Siege was dead as hell, and he brought that back so, like crazy. Was Everybody plays it now. Most popular streams, only averaging less than five viewers on a regular day. He even tried streaming other more popular games like Fortnite and Apex Legends. Fortnite's stupid. Oh my god! YouTube Stop! YouTube I don't want YouTube Premium. Shut up with the hopes of boosting his numbers. But sadly, it didn't pan out well, as he'd only gained one or two followers at the time. Receiving poor engagement like that for several months would discourage anyone from further pursuing streaming, and even stop most from streaming entirely. However, that wasn't enough to stop 18-year-old Jinxie from bringing his absolute best to every stream. Wait a second, how? To your right. Damn it, I keep pressing the wrong thing. How old is Jinxie? He's 18 at the time. What is he, like 22 now? I'm 27, by the way, almost this month but how old is he hold on 
kind of want to look that up real quick. How old is Jinxie? Oh, he's 22. Okay. Damn, he's young. 22 with 5.7 million followers. Jesus Christ. Most from streaming entirely. However, that wasn't enough to stop 18 year old Jinxie from bringing his absolute best to every stream. To your right, you fucking have been eliminated. Big D <laughs> Jesus Christ. Unfortunately, being undiscovered in the streaming world wasn't Jinxie's only disadvantage. Not only was his game of choice not a mainstream title, but Siege also faced several major issues, such as the developers lowering the skill gap, server side bugs, and rampant cheating with aimbots. These problems led to a sharp decline in both Twitch viewership and play account for Siege, which resulted mm -hmm. in a smaller pool of potential viewers for Jinxie, with some players even speculating that the game was already dead. It only made sense for streamers that wanted to grow to jump ship to another game. Despite Makes sense. This, Jinxie continued to play Siege religiously <clears throat> for the rest of 2019 and focused on being. Yeah, more I have of an to give him credit. He stuck with it instead of relying on a popular title. Yeah. That's. He's <laughs> using wall hacks. Jinxie's tendency Jesus to burst Christ. into incoherent rage on stream gradually became a core component of his online persona. However, he didn't do this randomly for shock value. At its core, Siege is a tense tactical shooter game that requires a high degree of concentration, which generally would mean the average streamer isn't going to be as high energy during a stressful situation. That However, actually makes a lot of sense. I didn't think about it that way. Yeah, Siege takes a lot more like thought than Call of Duty, for example. And for him to be like insane, like fucking crazy at all times while playing that game is actually crazy. Like it's actually big brain. This doesn't apply to Jinxie as he consistently lets his emotions run wild whenever he gets a kill or gets killed. Please. No! 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 <laughs> Couple this with the fact that Jinxie had been playing the game for over two years before joining Twitch meant that viewers would be entertained regardless of how a round ended. <laughs> Literally bodied. Oh my goodness. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're lost? Dollar Tree headset? While Jinxie was certainly doing his best to be engaging on stream, he would need to find a more reliable way to attract viewers since he was mm. still only averaging five viewers and had less than 300 Damn, that's followers. Rough. Jinxie might yeah, I watched an interview with him uh, recently where he said like he was he had like one viewer, one concurrent viewer on Twitch for an entire year. And that one viewer was his dad or something, <laughs> which is pretty wholesome. But that sucks, dude. That's rough. I mean, I know the feeling. You know, a <laughs> small streamer here. But yeah, that's rough. I'd have been optimistic on camera, but he knew he had to try something completely different because if not, his Twitch channel would continue right. to slowly stagnate and eventually die. By February 2020, Jinxie would implement a simple but effective strategy to improve his follower count on Twitch, streaming mm. for longer hours and going live every single day. Jeez, While Jinxie man. had maintained a somewhat frequent Twitch schedule in 2019, he had several week-long gaps and impaired his growth. Now, Jinxie was going live at a set time daily. He would have streams that lasted between two wow. and nine hours, playing nothing but Siege while giving viewers and other players his unfiltered opinions. Did he say nine hours? Did he say nine fucking hours? What? What? Nine hours is insane. Dude, how do you stream all? Oh, well, I guess he didn't. I guess he didn't have a job or I don't think he went to university. I can't remember what he said, but like I have a full time job. <laughs> so it's really hard to, uh, you know, stream like every day, but I want to try, you know, I try to, but it's difficult for sure, especially when you get off get off work at like like 8 8 p.m or something and if you know you go to the office and you got to commute back it's like 10 p.m so it's like whoa i'm tired but man nine hours that is insane i can't do nine hours the, the longest i've ever streamed was like five and a half hours playing minecraft <laughs> that's crazy dude i don't like japanese ads they're not very good yeah yeah 
Jesus Christ, my my ears. He's 70 HP after that? <laughs> okay, this guy just absorbed fucking shotgun to the nostril and he's like 70 HP. At first, his new strategy only yielded marginal results. But as the weeks turned to months, Jinxie's follower count went from 300 to 3,000. By the 30th Whoa. of August 2020, Jinxie would triple that figure and surpass 12,000 followers Damn. with an average viewership of 150 live viewers. By being active for so how? long, Jinxie had tell trained me. his viewers to- Somebody tell me, how do I do that? Is there a magic, bu is there a magic button I can press here that gives me 1,000 followers? <laughs> tune in as frequently as possible to see more rage fueled gameplay. Smaller creators are often advised to stream or upload consistently, which yep. is a good rule to abide by. However, that's only half of the equation. In Jinxie's case, he was building an audience by improving not just the frequency of his streams, but their length and mm. quality. Interestingly, Jinxie would use the second half of the year to experiment with other avenues to grow his viewer base, a move that would change his career forever. On the 15th of September 2020, Jinxie uploaded his first known YouTube video, Jinxie Rage Compilation 1, which introduced Did his you say, bizarre wait, He said, yes, it's that one over there. Oh, you got it? Okay, wait, let me press it. Um, I think it's like Alt F4, right? Alt F4. <laughs> Just kidding. Gout <laughs> career the year to experiment with other avenues to grow his viewer base, a move that would change his career forever. On the 15th of September 2020, Jinxie uploaded his first known YouTube video, Jinxie Rage Compilation 1, which introduced his bizarre freakouts to a brand new audience. Hmm. You know what? I need to do that. Wait, what'd you say? Alt F4 only works if you first delete System 32. That folder hides your hides your stream from the viewers. I totally forgot. Let me just go delete my system thirty two. System thirty two. Delete. All right, done. And now F oh, F four, right? Oh, F four. Okay, cool. I guess you guys can see it now, right? We're good. Awesome. Also, that's what I should do when I'm, when we're done playing Dark Souls. I should do a rage. I should do a rage compilation. Make a video of it. Just put all the rages together. I've raged so much during that those streams, man. Yeah, we should. I should do that. That that'll get a lot of views. <laughs> Crying inside. <laughs> Although my rages are not like that. <laughs> Terrible. Repurposed rage clips weren't the only thing that Jinxie uploaded, as he I created that. various gameplay tutorials and 1v1s with fans and fellow Siege players. Jinxie vs E2, man. I don't know why so many people want to see this. So like, yeah, if you guys want to support the stream, consider subscribing. Crocky, thank you the Prime sub. Bro, I wish my face cam was working, but... Um, so basically, this game ban so... Basically, uh... I got like literally hundreds of requests to 1v1 him. I don't know why. Like in one stream, I had hundreds of people. Dude, I think we raised, you said, I think I, I think we raised more than you at all the Googling. <clears throat> I have caught up, I have caught up to you and stopped at the same point you're at. <laughs> nice. Uh, but it's delayed though, so I don't know if it, anyway. Um, yeah. People request for this. So I'm all about giving the people what the people want. Around this time, Jinxie created a TikTok account where he posted oh. similar rage clips to what was on his YouTube channel. Although his first account was taken down for unknown reasons, it was around long enough to allow Jinxie to rip the benefits of short form content and establish a dedicated fan base on the platform. This is the official TikTok of Jinxie. My old one got taken down at 200,000 followers. So make sure you Whoa. drop a follow on here for daily videos. A detail that made FYI, I have a TikTok too. Might as well go follow it. It's, uh, I forget what it's called. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good idea. It's, I learned that from Jinxie and Queso, another streamer if you don't know. They basically got famous off of putting their clips on TikTok. So that's what I'm doing too. I'm putting all the Dark Souls stuff on there as well. Hopefully I'll get an audience on there. But yeah, TikTok is a great way to expand your audience.
a seeming consequential but becomes important later, was that Jinxie played exclusively on console, specifically Xbox. Since Siege is a cross-platform shooter, players who want to get an edge like pros and content creators generally gravitate to a mouse and keyboard, even if they're playing yeah, that's on a true. console. This meant that casual or intermediate players who couldn't use keyboards had almost no options regarding tutorials or reaching a higher level. However, Jinxie didn't follow that trend, since he played with a controller for years. This aspect of Jinxie's brain became immensely appealing as new viewers associated him with a stereotypical sweaty console player. <laughs> he had identified an underserved market of console players and gave them exactly what they wanted. Yes, I am a console player market streamer too. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm sweaty. All right, let's just roll back a, roll back a few seconds. One said, uh, was that Jinxie played exclusively okay, on console, specifically Xbox. Since I am Siege Xbox. Since a cross-platform shooter, players who want to get an edge like pros and content creators generally gravitate to a mouse and keyboard, even if they're playing Makes on sense. console. This meant that casual or intermediate players who couldn't use keyboards had almost no options regarding tutorials or reaching a higher level. However, Jinxie didn't follow that trend, since he played with a controller for years. This aspect of controller gang became immensely appealing as new viewers... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Him with a stereotypical sweaty console player. He had identified hey. the underserved market. I am not a sweaty console player. I am a beautiful, smells like roses, console player genius. Of console players and gave them exactly what they wanted. For the rest of 2020 and 2021, the positives of Jinxie's consistent posting schedule became even more apparent as his Twitch page reached over 200,000 followers. 200k is crazy. Almost 500 viewers on each stream. Special events like his birthday marathon stream easily doubled that figure. Direct interactions with his viewer base was also on the rise as Jinxie would host 1v1s and ranked matches, as well as encouraging people to repost clips of his stream highlights. That's that's genius. Okay, I stopped on a weird sound. But yeah, we'll see how long that lasts when you get these two. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, what they just said, what did they just say? It was really genius. Yeah, ha encouraging people to repost your content. Some people get angry like when people repost their content. Like they get angry and they try to take it down for copyright. That is a fucking stupid idea. Because that is just free advertisement. That's just free advertisement for you. Why would you why would you want to take down free advertisement? So yes, please. That's why all my YouTube videos are Creative Commons uh, attribution license. So anybody can just, you know, remix, clip, clip them and repost it. Because it's free advertising. Come on, man. That's it's a it's an amazing strat. <coughs> By 2022, <laughs> the sheer volume of viral content revolving around Jinxie's wild antics had captured the attention of the entire Rainbow Six community, especially the game's developers, who would shout him out in a tweet and add an item into the game for him. The first three months of 2023 saw Jinxie's online career grow to all-time highs in every metric possible, with 400,000 subscribers Damn. on YouTube, millions of followers on TikTok, and an outstanding 53,000 subs on Twitch. As a stream Jinxie was in an extremely comfortable position, and other creators who achieved similar success opted to take things easy moving forward. So wait, wait a second. This is this is a video about the controversy. Where the hell is the controversy? <laughs> what the fuck? However, Jinxie's competitive nature would never allow for it, as he sought new ways to push himself and his career forwards. One such pattern forward was a direct challenge to the number one Siege player in the world. You versus me, mano y mano, 1v1 tonight. Oh, you're, you're the best PC champion, you won a world championship, nobody cares! Find me on Oregon tonight, 9pm. Oregon? You better... YouTube premium. Stop asking YouTube me YouTube for YouTube premium. Shut up. Be there. If you're not there, oops. I'm taking that as a duck. You better be there. To put into perspective how insane of a challenge this was, the Siege community viewed Jinxie as an above average console player, while Bilu was a keyboard and mouse legend with several pro tournament victories under his belt. Jinxie was clearly the underdog. Did and he actually win the viewers against the pro? On the 19th of March 2023, knew that fact, but they still wanted to see if he could do the impossible. I'm coming for the throne right now. I'm coming for the throne. Oh right my god. Now. Bolo is scared. That I would know. be insane if he I actually know. won. I know. Hey, bro. I know! 
the first round would go to Belu after Jinxie failed to react. Oh, to wait. So the controversy is that he rose quickly. <laughs> he literally called his opponent a duck. <laughs> So yeah, the I guess yeah, it's a bit clickbaity, I guess. But I think the other I've seen other videos in the past that were pretty good. Of when peeking around a corner. Like dude! However, Jinxie made a striking comeback following a perfectly timed bomb detonation. He's big window, he's gotta be. So he actually made a comeback. Op four eliminated. Mission successful. Damn. Rounds three to eleven would see the pair trading blows, but never allowing the other to get ahead by more than one win, as the victor of each round was decided in mere milliseconds. I kind of want to watch this. This is intense. Drop the diffuser. Just better aim, bro. By the twelfth round, Jinxie was at the edge of his seat, pouring every ounce of skill and focus into the game. But would that be enough to grant him the win? Oh, dude, Op if he boy. wins, that'd be insane. Destroy. That operator is so cringe! <laughs> Why did I not ban it? Why did I not ban it? Oh, GG's, bro. Jinxie had put up an excellent fight and performed better mm. than 99% of console siege plays. So he didn't win. But he unfortunately came up short. Damn. While he did lose the match, Jinxie gained the respect of the entire Rainbow Six community. That's and mad respect, though. As one of the great. For him to challenge the pro, mad respect, yes. Mad, as he would say, mad respect. <laughs> I don't know how he does the days that. that followed, clips from Jinxie's match with Belu would spread far beyond the Rainbow Six community and spill into the wider esports world. As a result, millions of people who wouldn't have heard of him otherwise. The way he acts reminds me of Tyler Eleven. Yes, exactly. So people like I think I said it earlier, but people think he's like a copy of I Show Speed, and he's like also a copy of Tyler. And he, I think he actually addressed that like once. I forget what he said, but uh, it'd be funny if I could find that uh, video. <laughs> Yeah, but he's he's like Tyler's hilarious. He's got a taste of his bizarre brand of gameplay, and many of them oh, crap, were immediately okay. hooked. By the end of April 2023, Jinxie had surpassed 1 million followers and Damn. averaged nearly 10k viewers per stream, as well as almost doubling his Twitch subs to over 10k. Dude, imagine 10k. Imagine I can't even imagine. Like I know that like XQC and people have like. 60,000 plus concurrent viewers like just watching how that that is actually crazy. I can't I can't I can't even imagine having um 10,000 people watch me. Like I would get so nervous. <laughs> I would get so nervous, dude. That would be crazy. Not a copy, just the same type of entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. I, he's not a copy. He's different. 80k making him the number one subbed streamer on twitch looking at jinxie now many would assume he blew up out of nowhere but in reality he'd been laying the groundwork for his success for over five years most of which saw little to no growth jinxie had overcome countless days of unseen effort and finally got the chance to live a life he could only ever dream of bro i started streaming when i was 17 years old i'm about to turn 22 in like a month two months the amount of motherfuckers that never believed in me bro the amount out of motherfuckers that'll tell you that you can't do something because they can't imagine themselves doing something. Bro, do not let anyone tell you shit, bro. Do not let anyone <laughs> tell you anything, bro. Jesus Christ. You can literally do whatever the fuck you want. Despite the overwhelming true. success, Jinxie didn't get You can do whatever the fuck you want. Don't let anybody tell you what to do. Don't, oh my Jesus Christ. Don't let anybody tell you what to do. You can do whatever you want. You have control over your own life. Remember that. Imagine be able to, being able to stream at 17. Dude, yes. When I was 17, 10 years ago, <laughs> that wasn't, I mean, I guess it was available. I don't think, I don't know when Twitch, when did Twitch come out? I don't remember, but it wasn't even called Twitch at the beginning. It was called something else, I forget. But yeah, that just wasn't really a big thing back then. As, I mean, as compared, compared to now lazy as he continued to stream and post daily for the wait a second what was that about laziness you can literally do whatever the fuck you want 
Despite the overwhelming success, Jinxie didn't get lazy as it continued oh, to stream and post didn't get lazy. for the rest of 2023, nice. achieving millions of followers Bruh. on TikTok, YouTube, and Twitch. Jinxie being the largest siege creator naturally made him the face of the game. However, that recognition came with a few drawbacks. At the start of 2024, various members of the siege community would accuse him of promoting toxicity, as many of his younger viewers emulated his less than admirable traits. With posts hmm. reading, to a couple months off from playing and so far the jinxie clones are the worst thing to happen when jinxie i came clones. back i started seeing a bunch of people with jinxie-esque names and they always have the worst attitudes and are super unhelpful to the team as well as jinxie ruined siege yes how did he ruin it handedly revived the game but now it's basically unplayable. why then there were Aggies how is it unplayable i can literally go on the store search rainbow six siege buy the game Download the game and press play. Hence, playable. When I was 17, video game streams weren't a thing. Yeah, they weren't really a big thing until recently. Accusations of Jinxie being an iShow Speed clone. I love that speed. It's okay. just this like new. Yo, way. what is this? Yo, 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 yo. What is this shit that people calling me a speed clone, bro? I am nothing like speed, bro. I am literally nothing like speed. He's not oh, like wow, speed at we all. We both yell. Shut the fuck up! But this wasn't the only Dude, I could yell. I could yell a bunch like him and they would just call me they would call me Jinxie clone of Jinxie's success being called into question, as Trainwreck would allude to him using bots to boost his viewership. Who would you say is like the number one botter like that gets away with botting OD? Like, Shots bots at! Here's what I can say. Of the top 100 on Twitch, 75 are botting. Who's the number one botter though? I know who you guys want me to say, but Wait, that's what? not- the How do you even bot on the Twitch? The number one botter is on Twitch that are botting massively and making a lot- See, I'm so- I'm still so new to everything. I don't even know what, like, like what botting, what botting even means. <clears throat> like, hold on. Let me just test my mic really <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to test it again. I, I'm like, it's peaking. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just talking. Maybe I'm talking too loud. I need to tune back a bit. Anyway, I, I'm so new to the streaming stuff. I don't even know what botting means. I don't even know how that's done. So I don't know what that means. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Rainbow Siege 6 has been unplayable for many years. It's almost toxic. Oh, so it's unplayable because it's toxic. Okay, I guess when you're playing online, it's like toxic. But I mean, Call of Duty was toxic and is still toxic today, but I still play it. You just got to ignore the ignore the haters, you know? Botting is having bots watch your streams to artificially inflate viewer counts. See, I don't, oh, okay. I didn't know what that meant. I don't, how do you even do that? I don't even know how to do that. It's weird. Anyway. A lot of money from it. And by massively, is this more than 20,000, 50,000? How big are we talking? I'd say minimum between 10 and 20,000 bots. While what? No definitive 10 and 20,000 bots? Accusations as true or false, looking back on Jinxie's path to fame, he was motivated more by the sheer joy of being a creator rather than the potential success that came along with it. I feel like most people, especially nowadays, when they get into streaming or YouTube or anything, <coughs> their first goal is to make money on it, but you did it because you Oh, this is from the podcast. It, and that's how every great thing starts. But like, the idea of just like, like, I didn't want to be like, obviously like rich from gaming. It was just like, Dude, if I can make a thousand dollars a month streaming, bro, I was. When I got my first Twitch check, I was like, bro, let's go. Dude. Currently, Jinxie. St dude, yes. If I that that is like a dream, dude. If if I can make at least from YouTube and Twitch every month, like consistently make enough to pay my living expenses and maybe even support like a family in the future, that would be the dream. I don't even want to be like super famous. I just want to like. That would be really cool. I don't even want that, but it would be cool to have that. <laughs> um, I just wanted to build uh, Twitch and, you know, I wanted to start Twitch and I'm not saying this right. I started Twitch and YouTube because I wanted to build a community because I just, you know, I just wanted to. But, you know, maybe it goes somewhere, maybe it doesn't. But yeah, it would be so cool to just like be able to pay like the living expenses, you know. Um. Okay, except the skill gap for new players is now so large that they get horribly flamed and people don't teach new players so they don't learn, don't have fun, and stop playing. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, you just, I yeah. Yeah, I guess because it's a pretty complicated game, right? I've never played it.
But like I've seen him, like Charlie, Moist Critical, and him and Jinxie play it, and like Jinxie tells him how to play. So that makes sense because he, he already has someone to, someone to tell him how to play. Anyway. Still keeps to his daily streams, but has branched out into other endeavors like the Jinxie podcast, which features several large streamers and YouTubers. In spite of the simple formula behind his content, Jinxie still tries to find fresh ways to keep things new. And with his over-the-top personality, it's unlikely he'll ever stop doing that. While there are many aspects to the strategy that got Jinxie to where he is now, his journey was fueled by genuine excitement, enthusiasm, and a passion for what he was creating. It would have been impossible for Jinxie to be so high on stream for several hours across multiple weeks if he didn't love what he was doing. It was Jinxie's love for his craft that pushed him to go live daily to only five viewers. And it was that same love yeah. that kept him from becoming... Yeah, if you if you absolutely hate what you're doing, it's going to be miserable and miserable for you. See, like, that's why I'm only going to play games that I want to play, like Dark Souls and like Hel uh, Hellblade. Because if I'm, if I'm going to just play like a game that the viewers want me to play but I'm not really interested in it's not gonna be fun for me and if it's not fun for me it's not gonna show and then it won't be fun for the viewers watching if that makes sense so I totally agree with that coming complacent when he reached the top of twitch even now he still strives to be the greatest version of himself and no other point illustrates this better than winning his rematch against siege's number one player rematch he won Dude, he actually won the rematch against the, the same guy? You That's insane. You consciously notice when a creator doesn't genuinely care about what they create. True. And it manifests in low engagement and negative feedback. However, once the audience knows you care about your content, they start to care too. And over time, that's what builds a loyal fan base. Yeah. There's no guarantee that Jinxie will continue the path he's on. But for now, he is still the same sweaty console player that is always been. Hey, and that's watch, your dirt, watch your mouth, bro. <laughs> yeah but serious on a serious note yeah i agree because it's to it totally shows if you're not having fun it will show i've seen it i've seen it from some other streamers like that wonder why they don't have a lot of views and it's because they're just not entertaining because it's it, they're not having fun so you know i'm not gonna play some kind of game that's not fun because it won't be entertaining for you guys anyway uh, good video. Uh, go check out the Internet Anarchist. It's a good channel. Um, maybe a little bit clickbaity sometimes, <laughs> as you said. But yeah, it's a, it's overall a good channel. But yeah, what do you guys think about that?